Hey guys, welcome back to DQ Tarot. We're going to have a little chat about astrology right now. I just thought it's a crazy day, September 23rd. Um, let's talk about the astrology that's happening. It's going to be quite effective um, for the next couple of weeks and also really introduce us into this last part of the year, which is going to be absolute chaos and mess. So um, if you think 2020 has been hard so far, if you think, you know, we've hit the worst of it, we absolutely have not. So let's get into this here. So today, um, September 23rd, we obviously have Libra season. So sun is in Libra. Mercury in Libra is also entering shadow and it will go direct on... Election Day, November 3rd. And I think I mentioned that a bunch of times, but how just wild is that? I <laughs> November 3rd is going to be a day. Let's just say that. Um, so again, from now until Election Day, November 3rd, things are going to be really popping off. Um, and also today, as Mercury enters shadow, it's also making this exact square to Saturn. Um, and Saturn is in Capricorn, if you didn't know. So Mercury and Libra, which um, really wants things to be fair, that really wants things to work together, to be easy, to be harmonious, um, is having to kind of realize or be up against this energy that, you know, obviously reality, the reality is nothing is fair. Nothing is fair in life. It's just the way it is. And we are not living through easy times, no matter how much you want to put a positive, you know, spin on it, like, oh, positivity, light, love. You know what? We're living through shit times. It's going to be... And it's okay. We can buck up and deal with it. It's going to be like another five, six months of some really, let's be honest, shitty times. And we're just going to have to buck up and work through it, okay? You know, put on your big boy pants and just get to work because it's it's not going to be easy. And it's going to be really, I feel like, crazy to try to be like, oh, it's positive. It's a beautiful thing right now. Yeah, we're going to be happy. It happened, maybe. But it's it's going to feel difficult. And it's okay for it to be difficult and to not be positive throughout all of this. So anyways, Mercury is struggling to bring these two things together. And it's almost kind of like trying to teach someone a lesson that you just have absolutely no authority over. It's, you know, like, oh, I think you should do it this way. And someone's like, yeah, okay, I don't really give a shit. Bye. Like, don't try to tell me what to do ever. So, you know, for example, on this day, you might even see or hear something um, and then try to talk to someone about it, try to relate to them, and they're just going to be refusing to hear you, to see you, to understand you. Like, no, I'm not going to, whatever, bye. Like, shut up. And what you're going to do, I mean, let's be, let's try to, like, relate this here. Um, so kind of, like, think really about the political insanity that's really just happening in America right now. Um... Well, some of us are suffering in this reality that is very real. Uh, some people are totally blocking the reality that, you know, for example, our president is absolutely bonkers and making no sense and that 200 people have died and yet nobody is really, you know, mourning that loss or, or dealing with it or talking about it or even acknowledging that, you know, that is... That's something to be acknowledged, right? Um, so those that are responsible in power refuse to take responsibility for everything they've done to really um, to put us here. And there's just this blockage of, nope, not my problem, not my monkeys, not my circus, when in reality, you own the circus, P.T. Barnum. So interesting there. Uh, Mercury and Libra also really just wants to build a bridge, and Saturn and Pluto are just, like, refusing to consider and acknowledge that as they keep doing, you know, their own thing, like, I'm gonna keep doing my own thing, like, bye, like, literally just, like, almost in, like, cartoons where you see, like, these big guys or, like, in Bugs Bunny, like, the big dogs, like, pushing, like, the little puppy out of the way or, like, the cat or whatever animal, it's just something that's just, like, I don't even care about you, just get out of my way, you're not even anything to me. Um, it's that kind of stuff going on here today, so... And what Mercury, um, excuse me, is doing and focusing on in your chart is really going to be your focus until after November 3rd. But Mercury and Libra is also, let's be honest, Mercury and Libra is a pushover energy. I don't, I don't like saying that because eh, I don't want to like offend people that way, but it is kind of a pushover energy. It really wants to bring things, you know, into harmony and it's willing to, you know, put its own desires and needs and reality on the back burner in order to do that. So... It's, it can be, again, it can, it might feel like it can't, like, you just can't work up against this because there's just nothing I can do to make it right. Um, also, we have this moon and cap, moon going into Capricorn today, and, um, it's going to be, you know, it's in the waxing phase if we're moving up towards that full moon in Aries. And this could be highlighting really a big blind spot or, you know, a potential issue here. And 
the energy is going to be really intense. I mean, like, I think we can see that here, as we've kind of mentioned here. It's, it's some intense energy. And Mercury in Libra, again, is a bit of a doormat. So you're going to really need to not let everybody else, like, walk all over you. But it's also, like, with the moon in Capricorn, it's a great time to not go flying off the handle, getting upset and everything. It's, the, it's a great time to be, like... All right, let's just, uh, emotions to the side. I just got to focus on my work. I can't, like, get into this right now. No way. No way, no how. It's it's a good time, again, to really emotionally check out and do your work because conversations and what we learn and experience today are intense. They're volatile. And um, things are just going down. Let's be honest here. So it's, you're going to need to try to remind yourself here, like, what do you tell yourself to push through these moments? What do you tell yourself to get through the shitty times? And, you know, when things aren't easy, how strong are you? How do you toughen up? How do you react to these things? Rather than just, you know, laying down and being like, oh, I don't have the energy. I can't do it right now. This is not the year to do that. And I don't want to be like, you know, against people that are all about positivity and, you know, taking a break and relaxing and peace and all that. But it's it's shitty times. It's tough times. And we got to buck up and we got to get through it. Because I don't think that pretending that this is all positive and it's all love and light and it's all good right now is the way that it is. You know, we've lived through some good times and it's we're living through some shitty times now and it's just the way it is and if to ignore that and to pretend like it's not happening isn't going to make it go away and isn't going to help you better push through this get what you need to out of it and push on off you know push on on the other side of all this okay so anyways that's just a little tidbit of astrology i wanted to talk about here because it's just obviously it's a lot happening so let me know if anything crazy happens today um and welcome to the beginning of Mercury retrograde. <sighs> what a what a time for it to hit, right guys? All right. Anyways, love you all so much. Check out your monthlies. I'm going to work on Libra's monthly actually after this. So Libra's expect your birthday reading here for October 2020 to be up soon. All right. Love you so much. Namaste.